Okay, right here is a 1973 PNH H418 hydraulic excavator. PNH first entered the hydraulic excavator market in 1964 when they acquired the rights to a small excavator that was designed by Cabot Corporation. And from the designs that PNH acquired from Cabot, they were able to build the models H312 and the H418, which you see right here. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this excavator. The bucket you see is one cubic yard, and that was the standard capacity for an H418 excavator. On the side of the boom, you can see where it says PNH. Here you can see the wide, individually linked crawler pads to provide plenty of weight distribution for the excavator if it's working on a soft ground surface. You can also see this excavator is chain driven. You can see where the chain runs around the rear sprocket right here. That chain connects to the drive sprocket. And when the machine is engaged into the travel mode, this is what will turn the tracks to travel the machine. Here you can see where the two boom cylinders connect to the superstructure. And if you look up top, you can see where the two cylinders connect inside of the boom. Unlike a modern hydraulic excavator today, which would have the two boom cylinders connect on the outside of the boom. On the left hand side is the hydraulic oil tank, which you can see right here. And on the right side, directly behind the operator's cab, sits the diesel fuel tank, which you can see right there. And from here, you can get a good overview of the hydraulic system on this excavator. And you can see the hydraulic lines that run out to power the excavator in the front. As you can see, the operator's cab on this excavator is positioned on the right-hand side. Let's go up inside and I'll show you the control setup. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station on the H418. As you can see, the cab is very narrow on this machine. Not only is it narrow, but you can tell the cab is not very well insulated, unlike a modern hydraulic excavator today. So because of this, not only will the cab get a little bit hot in the summertime, but it will also pick up a lot of noise and vibration from the engine. Right here you can see the lift rating chart for the Model H418 excavator. Here you can see all the gauges. This is a very unique gauge system on this machine. On the top is the oil. To the right is the amps. The bottom, temperature, and to the left is fuel. This will monitor the entire machine when it's running. Okay, out in front you see four hand levers. The two outer hand levers on this machine control the swing and boom functions on the excavator, while the two hand levers in the center control the travel functions. Each hand lever controls each individual track. This is how you travel the machine. The two foot pedals that you see on the floor control the bucket and stick functions. So when you operate this excavator, your feet would be working the foot pedals controlling the bucket and stick, and your hands would be out in front to control the swing and boom functions. To the left, this small hand lever you see controls the engine throttle. And from here you can get a crystal clear operator's view if he were running an H418. Okay, behind this side compartment here you can see all the hydraulic valves.
And behind this rear compartment right here is to access the engine and the hydraulic pumps, which you can see right there. The H418 is powered by a Detroit 6V 53N diesel engine, which you can see right under the hood there. And on the back of the counterweight, you can see where it says PNH. Now on the left side of the excavator, this was something that I thought was really cool and I wanted to show in this video. The original decal that says Volumatic Hydraulic System, which was PNH's name for their hydraulic system on their hydraulic excavator. The vents that you see on the rear and sides of the house on this excavator are to allow air circulation back by the engine to help keep it cool when it's running. In 1976, the H418 was renumbered the H1250, and that same year, production ended for this machine. The overall working weight of this excavator is 30 tons. But there she is a 1973 P&H H418.